the first thing that, that people will notice is the floor slopes in one general direction towards the drains which are outside of the stalls for the first time. And then the, the floor is raked so that it'll help wear the hooves itself for the giraffe so they're helping take care of themselves. And then there's also a, a series of tubes and hoses underneath the concrete where we can heat and cool individual stalls. So and that would come in handy if an animal is um, ill or if it's a baby and it's born at the wrong time of the year, we can actually heat the floor up and help keep the body temperature up. Uh, we've got doors inside that uh, are shift doors, but we also have the ability where we can drive inside the, uh, the pins with a front end loader if we need to. And then the feeding stations, we can elevate them, raise and lower them, one for operations, uh, just to feed, put hay in, but we can also uh, utilize it for a, a giraffe that's smaller, so we don't just have them at a set stage. And then on the two end pins, we actually have these large gates that we can divide the, the bigger stalls in half. Um, so it allows us to hold more animals and it gives us a lot of flexibility in moving the animals from point A to point B. Uh, you'll also notice that we have the waterers. So these are elevated waterers and they're heated so the giraffes don't have to bend down quite so far in order to, to drink. And then we have the whole series of shifting so the animals will all shift through the network um, that's outside on what we call the front porch and then they'll go through basically a restraint device which gives us complete access to the animal so we'll have every access to its head all the way down to its feet uh, where we can do hoof care but we can also draw blood and they'll be conditioned to the shoot so that they're used to it. Uh, what this does is it allows us to get them to help us take care of them medically and physically uh, and we haven't had that in the past so this is part of our goal of being able to maintain the animals through, from birth through death and keep them comfortable. Um, we'll have an off-exhibit outdoor pen uh, that will be, so if an animal is stuck in the, in the building for some reason, we can also get them outside. Um, but it can also be if we have to retire an animal, maybe they don't get around as well because of arthritis, we can put them in the outdoor pen so they can move, move around a little bit and get some sunshine. You can see the hurricane shutters, uh, so in a storm, We'll, uh, we'll be able to bring those down and bring the giraffe in in inclement weather and they'll be protected and it also they kind of breathe with the building uh, which is a benefit and you can see the skylights up top so we're using a lot of natural light in here uh, so the giraffes um, get, they're, they're always uh, have an, an opportunity for UV light and then we also have the second floor um, which is more of a not a guest experience but a donor experience uh, so that we can be able to bring them up there and if animals are inside the barn they can actually get face to face with, with an adult giraffe. We've also added a little bit of contouring because these exhibits were always really flat and then the chain link fence goes away and it'll be a, a wooden post fence that will go through here. The southern ground hornbills and the red river hogs will use that tunnel as a, a respite someplace they can get away from the public but the public can still see through the tube to be able to view them. one of the things we kept saying was it's the details, it's the small things. And so when we had them do this, this we did discussed what kind of rock we wanted. So we wanted ruined stone. Um, so this is similar to the look that you would see in the, the Zimbabwe castle, which, which is what the country's named after. It used to be Rhodesia, now it's Zimbabwe, based off that, that historic castle. But then we have these, these are metal posts that are molded to look just like wood. And then we carried that through into the exhibit too. So to give you a visual, the netting will go as high as the top of that pole. It'll attach to each building and it will come down and it will end up mounting on top of this. And then the water, the water view is about right here. And so then the pygmy hippos can, you can you remember what they were in and now it's this size of a pool for them. And it's got a life support system in it. Um, and the idea is we'll also have cichlids in here, uh, so there'll be fish in with them. Uh, they, they just kind of go with each other, but then the system we have in it turns all that over very fast, and then we have a way to pull out the, the fecal matter inside the life support system. And the colobus and the birds will live in this side, and then the front half of this building is where the pygmy hippo will live. And then inside there, then we also have, it, for lack of a better word, we have a pool pen. And so there's a, a pool inside one of the, the stalls inside there. So if we have to have somebody off exhibit, they can actually have access to, to water. And then this will be like a porta cache. It's the only way I can describe it. So there'll be large posts mounted here and it'll come up and this will all be shaded. 
and then this whole back area will be planted out as well.